si vous savez la chance que j'ai aujourd'hui, je vais vous faire un énorme, énorme plaisir. D'un côté, j'ai Monsieur Philippe Walker, et ça, c'est un vrai bluesman. Et de l'autre côté, ben, Omar Sandy, son élève, mais tout, toujours aussi grand. Alors Omar, on va faire un petit truc pour une fois pour changer. Tu vas parler un peu avec ton grand ami, parler de quelques questions. Hein puis ça, comme ça, certaines personnes ne te connaissent pas. Et puis pour Philippe, ça sera la même chose. Et comme ça, je vous laisse tous les deux. Et moi, je m'occupe de la caméra pour une fois, internaute de Mazal TV. Ok, Omar Hi, Mr. Phil Walker. How you doing, Omar? It's good to see you. Again. Good to see you too. Long time to see you. Long time. Yeah, yes. cool. Yes. Yes. Pleasure to see you again. Uh, first question is uh, about who gave you the desire to become a professional musician? Well, I listened to a lot of records when I was really young. Back starting in 1948, I was listening. I wasn't playing then. And I guess I listened for about five or six years. Yeah. Then I started to uh, pick up the guitar in the 50s. And uh, I listened to people like Robert Johnson, Lead Belly. Then came the, uh, after the acoustic, came the electric guitar, T-Bone Walker, Lowell Fulton, Pee Wee Creighton. And I could go on and on and on of all of the mixture of different states Chicago blues, Mississippi blues, New Orleans blues, Texas blues. And um, all these guys, it was so much for me to choose from. Yes, so many. So many. Yeah. So I would listen to everybody. Then came Clarence Gatemouth Brown, B.B. King. Albert King. <laughs> uh, it was just so much. And I had real inspiration to play then, about 1953, when I started to play in uh, professional. Then I went with a guy that was a Cordian King out of Louisiana, Clifton Chenier, give me the opportunity <coughs> to really travel as a traveling musician at that time. And uh, that's when it happened. Yeah. Fifth, that had been 50 years ago. <laughs> Long but, time. But uh, at the beginning, wh where do you growing up uh, to make this influence to you? My influences was between Zadiku and blues, which was uh, Southern Texas blues. Yeah. Yes, Southern Texas blues. Yeah. And uh, about the guitar player, who's your first influence? Uh, you know, who makes you play guitar? T-Bone Walker, T -Bone of course, Walker. of course, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, question number three. What was your last crush of past few years? Well, my last crush was, was a great joy to get an opportunity to record with two friends of mine that we grew up together in Texas yeah. with. was Long John Hanna and Lonnie Brooks. We done a CD together by the name of the Long Star Shootout. We that it. Oh, yeah. we had a lot Ooh. of fun after 37 years. Alligator Records. Alligator. On Alli yes, on Alligator Records. Yeah. That was my crush about three years ago. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what's your best memories about touring? You know, is it the same thing or? Oh, I've had quite a ex few, yeah. ex quite a few experience touring. Yeah. I've done a lot of touring. I've toured with many people. And one of my greatest exciting mo moments was, was to uh, be able to play with a great king of rock and roll was Little Richard back in 69. Oh, yeah. That was another exciting time of my life, yes, yeah. yes. So, so but what, what about the, 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 the great guitar player or piano player, I don't know, you, you play with in your career? Uh, great pianos was people like Pine Top Perkins, I just played with Pine Top oh, Perkins. Yeah. And uh, a guy recorded with me, Teddy Reynolds out of Houston, he's gone now. Yeah. And uh, I had great musicians on one of my albums back in the 80s, Art Hillary, 
uh, Lou Matthews, some of the great blues and jazz, versatile yeah, musicians. Where were they from? Uh, uh, they was from out of Los Angeles. Yeah. Yes, they said out of Los Angeles. Uh, what is about the best memory of a session or recording studio? Last couple of years. The last couple of years yeah. with the Long Star Shootout, because we all three was there recording <laughs> together. <laughs> what a chaos! Right. <laughs> so, yes. w was it, what is your plan for next year, except to play? Oh, uh, play with you. <laughs> well, I intend to keep playing, and uh, I done a live CD just last year in San Francisco called Live at Biscuits and Blues. And now I'm working on some material now. I hope to have a new CD out by 2004. And I plan to keep touring and playing the blues. Okay. So you, you're playing at the Meridian. It's, uh, you have, I mean, uh, this Friday and this Saturday. What are you going to do the next? Well, I'm going to be playing the blues here at the La Meridian for another week after this week. Oh, yeah? Yes, I got another week. Oh, I'm looking to so see So I'm here for a long time, yes. I'm here for a long uh, time. They just won't let me go. Watch my money. <laughs> <laughs> watch, watch your money, Omar. <laughs> yeah, I remember that time at the Mutuality. Oh, yeah, the Mutuality. We, we met you for the first time with Lowell Fulson. Lowell Fulson. He was... Never see a festival like that, so we heard f about you uh, for the first time. It was an incredible night. Well, I enjoyed what about it. First, thinking about this time. Yes, it was a great night, and it was much greater because when I was 18 years old, a guy left the U.S. way back and came to Paris to live. <laughs> Uh, Memphis Slim. Memphis Slim. He yeah. was a guest with us, oh, and yeah. me and Lil Fulton in Memphis took a picture together. You know, I played in uh, for Memphis Slim way back when I was 18 years old. Yeah. Yes, before he came to Paris. For me, what I thought at that time, I was really young, but I saw uh, you give so much uh, energy and you give so much good conducting musical director about Lil Fulton. So we saw that in the first nuts. You, you really, without you, I think, doesn't make no sense. Well, at that time. Well, it's why that was like that. When I was young, I played on stage behind Mr. Fultzen yeah. as a rhythm player back in the 50s. So I knew him like a father. Yeah. Yes, I knew him like a father. Matter of fact, I recorded his one of his big hits on my live CD. Yeah. Yes, oh, yes. Cool. Okay, uh, good to see you. Was well, good to see, see you again. You again. Well, huh? it's a, I will be here the next week. Well, come and play with me. Okay, you see everybody next week. Come next week. Or the world will call a police. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I go. You're right. <laughs> Et ben voilà